this video, I will show you how to get any Valorant skin for completely free by using the best Valorant skin changer in 2024. This skin changer allows you to get any skin, insta-lock your favorite agents, change your player cards and titles, and features a whole profile editor to change your rank, level, and much more, which makes it perfect for trolling your friends or streamer. Make sure to subscribe and watch this video till the end to claim the free Valorant gift card codes, which are hidden in this video. Just like this one, right here. Now, let's get started and unlock your first Valorant skins on your account. But before we're gonna start with unlocking the first skins on your account, let me introduce you to Eldorado, a one-stop shop for your Valorant needs. Ever dreamed of an account loaded with skins without emptying your wallet? Imagine getting that dream skin collection you've always wanted. Head over to Eldorado.gg. They either got a vast selection of Valorant accounts or cheap Valorant points with which you can directly unlock the skins on your own account. I'm personally using Eldorado for over two years already and was always really satisfied. The best part of this is the safety, because we we all know that it's super important nowadays. Eldorado got this thing called Trade Shield. If you run into any trouble, like a not so great seller, Eldorado steps in. You're gonna get a guaranteed refund. They're really strict about fair trading, which means you can shop with confidence. And check this out. When you're browsing for the perfect account, take a peek at the seller reviews. A ton of great reviews, high positive percentages, lots of completed orders. That's your green light for a legit seller. Oh, and for those of you who are feeling stuck in your current rank, guess what? Eldorado offers a boosting service too. So if you're looking to climb up the ranks, they've got your back. In short, if you want to get skins or get Valorant points at an affordable price while shopping safely or even climbing the Valorant ladder, Eldorado.gg is your to-go spot. Check them out and start making your Valorant experience even more awesome now with the code FROST for 5% off. But now, let's get started with the skin changer. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop on my site, frostchanger.de, the link is also down in the description. And once you're on my site, you can already see if you ever used our services in the past, we got a brand new website which we've released in the past month. Not only Valorant applications, we also got applications for Fortnite, Counter-Strike 2, GTA, much more, so make sure to check this out. You can also see the trending applications right here, which is based on the community's voting or download amount. But today we're going to talk about our Valorant skin changer. So for this, we're just going to log in real quick. You can do this by simply clicking on the login button and the login is pretty convenient. You just need a Discord account and once you've got this and you're signed in in your browser, you can simply hit the authorize button down below and you're getting redirected back to the main page. And once you're back on this main page, we're going to hit application since we want to see all the applications we offer. Now it asks us for the certain game and in our case, it's obviously Valorant. You can also switch on this side real quick to see all the other applications. The download process now is pretty easy you're just gonna hit the download button here so just make sure to follow this till the end since if you're a free user you're gonna have to watch ads which i will show you in a second but just make sure you don't download anything wrong so make sure to stick around till the end if you don't want to watch ads or get some special perks like changing unlimited amount of skins and player cards and stuff like that just make sure to check out the store which is also in the header but now let's get started with the actual download process so you're just gonna hit the download button for your certain application which is in our case lcfi and now you're gonna get redirected to this booster page make sure this matches and you don't get redirected to any wrong website but now we're just gonna have to do the social steps which are pretty self-explaining in my opinion so i will just do them real quick And once you've completed all these social steps as I did right now, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the extension notifications and the ad. This is also pretty self-explanatory again. You just click on this button and visit this page. So we need to add this to Chrome real quick. And once you've done this as well, we're gonna go ahead and accept the notifications as well. Visit page, this is the same again. And now we have to click on allow right there. And now we completed the notification step as well. We're gonna click on this ad, visit this page. And now we're just gonna scroll a little bit and read some ads right here and once you've completed this step as well it shows unlock progress 8 out of 8 if some of you experience any issues with this for example that you can't click on these buttons make sure to disable your ad blocker or use a different browser simple as that since i always recommend chromium based browsers like chrome edge stuff like that so just make sure to use edge if you experience any issues everybody of you got edge pre-installed let's go ahead and unlock this content and this is why i told you stick around till the end many of you will probably just click on this download now or something this is a pop-up ad don't click on this we're gonna go ahead back to this tab booster unlock content and we're getting redirected to this link with this page this is the last step before we actually get the skin changer so just click on get a valorant skin changer now we just have to choose and complete one ad again click on i'm interested i'm definitely interested in this so i'm on energy portal 24 and now it starts a survey so we're just gonna do this real quick and once you've completed the survey or read the ad or something, you can click on I've already completed this step. If it doesn't show that you've completed it already, you're done now. And now a pop-up window appears and this 
pop-up window actually has the download link for your certain application. So just click on this, control A, control C, or just highlight everything, right click and copy this, copy, simple as that. And now we can click in this URL thingy and paste it in right there with control V, click enter. And now we are actually on the official Frost Changer download site. So just make sure to check. If you're here, congrats, you're almost done with installing the Valorant Skin Changer and getting your favorite skins in Valorant. So stick around till the end. We're gonna hit the download button and now it says download started and it successfully downloaded LC4 Universal. Since I obviously already got LC4 Universal installed, I already got this on my desktop. This is a brand new version, which is more stable than ever since the old version was pretty bad because of the database and also got a lot of issues because I didn't frequently update it and right change a lot of stuff. But now, and also got a lot of new features. Now we can simply double click on this and a few of you will probably get prompted to install the .NET 8 runtimes since barely any applications already uses .NET 8, but since I recoded this completely, I used the newest framework version. So if it prompts you with a download now button, you just click on this and you will probably get redirected to this page from Microsoft. This is just to show the actual UI. It's from official Microsoft. So you can also read what this actually is. Just search it up if you don't know what .NET is and you want to know more about this. But if you just want to use the skin changer ASAP, you can just download this and run this. This is just an installer with no ads or something. You just hit install and you're good to go after this. So it's pretty self-explanatory but if you need any assistance feel free to join our discord server and open a support ticket to know more about this but if you got the runtimes you're good to go and we can continue with this tutorial by double clicking on this application and now it initializes and since this is our first start it shows welcome to lcfi let's get started and it shows an end user license agreement for lcfi by the way if you don't got the font installed this application is using it might ask for admin permissions on the first run so if you're confused why this happens it's just because it installs the font and needs admin permissions for this but after that you will never need the admin permissions again scroll down read the end user license agreement agree to this and we're going to continue by hitting the next button and now we go to choose our language this is also a new feature of the brand new lc5 universal version in which it asks you for your language today we're going to continue with english but i know a lot of you aren't that familiar with english so you can also choose your language right here and now you just go to continue by the way if your language is missing right now just make sure to comment it down below so i will add it to lc5 but i think i I featured a lot of languages already. Now we just gotta continue with authorizing for LCFI. And for this, we have to connect our Discord account to LCFI. We just click on authorize, getting redirected to this. We're gonna click on authorize again and it tells us a return to swap box. So it just took us like three seconds. We're gonna go back and it already detected it and authorized us. So now we either have to log in via Valorant Plus, which most of you probably aren't on first launch. So I will show you in a sec how to get a key for completely free, by the way. But if you're a Valorant Plus, you can just click on log in via Valorant Plus. And if you wanna get Valorant Plus and don't want to watch any more ads, just click on get Valorant Plus right here. Otherwise, you just click on get key for completely free. We're just going to complete these steps real quick again. You already done this once for the download probably. So we're just going to do the social steps again real quick. And once you've completed all of these steps again, it shows unlock progress 5 out of 5. We can continue by unlocking content. And again, this is a pop-up ad. I've warned you already, but again, don't click on any of this right here. Close this tab and click on unlock content. And we're getting redirected to this key page. So we're just going to copy this to clipboard. This is our key. Each key lasts 24 hours. So the new version also auto saves your key and only prompts you again if the 24 hours ran out or your key expired. Now we're just going to enter this. This is our key for the next 24 hours. And we're going to click on redeem key. It says your key is valid. And we know we just got to wait and we're getting redirected. Next thing is we have to connect our right account and now you can either choose to authorize via real time or add your account directly. The only difference here is that real time requires you to launch your game which is currently not the case and by adding your account you don't have to launch your game and you can always auto log in. You don't have to even get the prompt of the login screen so I really recommend everybody of you to just simply add your account. This is also what we're going to do. Real time is pretty self-explanatory again. You just launch your game and click the real time button and you're good to go. But I really recommend everybody of you to just add your account right here. Here. So we're just gonna do this real quick. Okay, so I now entered my credentials of my Riot account and another pretty important thing here is that many of you didn't know what to enter in this in the previous version. So this is your Riot account. You have to enter your Riot username and your Riot password. If you always use Google or any third party app to log into your Riot account and don't even got a username or password right here, don't worry, you just have to go on the account.riotgames.com website, scroll a little bit down until you're at the Riot account sign in section and at this Riot account sign in page, you just have 
have to set your username and a password. And then you're good to go and you can enter these credentials right here and then you just have to press the login button. And if you got the two-factor authentication enabled, it prompts you now with a window. I really recommend everybody to enable this since it really secures your account. But I gotta enter this real quick. I already got an email and we just have to enter this real quick and we hit the confirm button. And now it shows us the choose your right account page. And since this is my main account and I always wanted to auto log in, we can just enable the auto login toggle button right there. And now we can select this account. And in the future, when I launch Elsify, it will auto log in to this account. Don't worry, you can always change this in the actual settings of the application once you're logged in. I recommend this if you got a main account as I do. So now we're initializing and I load some stuff. And now it says, welcome back, Shimo. And there we go. You successfully installed Elsify and now you're good to go to change your first skin. I will also show you how to do everything step by step. So make sure to stick around until the end. So let's get started. On the main page, you can see the most popular items. This is counted by all global swaps. Right now, it's only in the beta phase. Otherwise, we're going to click on the skins tab. And now it's going to load your loadout. This is my count collection, which I've set using Elsify. Now it's pretty easy to change any skin. You don't even need a skin. You could also use a second account to first try this out. So you, so you know, everything is completely safe and you can't get banned for this. Since everything works with the own game API. But now let's get started by changing any skin which we want. So for example, I want to change my knife today. So I click on this and now it loads all knives which are available in the whole game. The whole list. If we don't want to swap our knife anymore, we can click the return button and don't use any of our swap credits or daily ones. But otherwise, for example, I want the Champions 2022 Butterfly Knife. So I click on this and it says successfully change your melee skin. And now we just gotta launch our Valorant. If Valorant is already running for you, you gotta restart your game to see these changes. But after your game restart, you're gonna see all the changes. And now we could even swap more skins. For example, I really like the new Vandal. So just click on this and select the new Vandal, which should be at the bottom right there. Konami Vandal. We're gonna select it. Also like the style. It also shows styles, by the way. Again, we swapped this successfully. It updated the swap count. And now we can also continue by changing our player card and title. And on first launch it's going to download all the player card images so loading this for the first time is probably going to take a little bit longer than it's going to be in the future but just let this load for the first time And as you can see, it just loaded all the available player cards in the whole game. And now we can select any of these player cards. For example, I really like this player card, the Ignite Fang card. And we just click on this and it says successfully changed your player card. And this also, by the way, requires a game restart. So skins, player cards and titles require a game restart to see the changes on your side. By the way, as I already mentioned in the intro, everything here, everything which you've changed right here is also going to be displayed to your friends. So everything happens via the API equals server silent. So now that we've also changed the player card, let's continue with the titles. And this doesn't take that long since it doesn't have to load any images. There we go. Already loaded everything. And now we can also select any title which we've won. So let's just say we won the last VCT. So I just click on this and it says successfully changed your player title. And now we're also good to go. Pretty self-explanatory. The installer now got a new UI, got a disabled and enabled button, so you can directly choose if you want to insta-lock right now or not. But the only thing you're gonna do here is choose your favorite agent which you want to insta-lock the next round. For example, I want to insta-lock Reyna. So I click on this, it loads the image and the description of the agent which we've chosen. And now I just gotta click on enabled to enable insta-locking. If I don't want to insta-lock Reyna anymore, I can click this button again. And if I would be premium, I could click on this button to keep this enabled. Since after each insta-lock, it's gonna be back at disabled. If you got premium, you can keep this on so it insta-locks for any round and you don't have to worry about forgetting turning it on again. So now that you know how to change your skins, cards, titles and insta-lock your agents, we're gonna continue with the profile tab. And for this, we're gonna have to launch Valorant as it shows right here. Right now, it's waiting for us to launch Valorant, so we're just gonna do this. Then I can also show you that our skins, player cards and titles have been changed. So let's launch Valorant real quick. And before we get back to the profile changer, let's just check our collection real quick to see if the skins got swapped. And there we go. We successfully got the Champions 2022 Butterfly and the new Kuronami Vandal in the certain style which we've selected. Just a quick reminder that all these skins which you unlock with Elsify are luck based at the moment in matches. So this is just for creating your dream collection right now. And maybe if you're lucky, you also get the skins in game. There's not a certain percentage amount we can say, but we're working on an in-game skin changer which 100% works 
works each time so just make sure to check the discord for new announcements maybe when you watch this video it's already out you never know on my channel in general if i got new tutorials or stuff like that keep this in mind and let's get back to the profile changer so now i loaded up valorant and it instantly detected that valorant is now running and we're in the lobby i got the new player card i got the title 2023 vct champion and you're also already able to see a change which got made by the profile editor right there now it shows that i'm currently in game all these changes are visible to your friends so it's pretty pretty cool to troll your friends or even streamers if you join hop in streams of small streamers ask them to add you and you just change your rank in real time it's pretty cool i've done it in the past a few times and was always fun but now i will show you the features like changing your rank so we just click on silver 2 and now it shows us all available ranks right here of course we want to be radiant so i set this to radiant and i also want to be on position one and if we now hover back again we can see radiant hashtag one now all of my friends are able to see that i'm radiant hashtag one pretty cool right and we can also change our party size to show that we actually got a lot of friends and we're fame so you can already see this change right here you can also add a zero again and now it says 99.99 players are in my party and now we can also change our status to hi youtube and we have above this it changed in real time as well hi youtube is my game mode my status now whatever you want to call it and we can also switch our level the level is actually the only thing which is not visible to yourself but only your friends don't ask me why i did this but yeah your friends are now going to be able to see that we're level 6170 and for us it's still going to show 59 which is my actual level change our score to 999 versus minus right there and it's going to show here 999 to minus 1000 all right that's it for the profile changer pretty cool right the only thing i'm about to show you now is only the settings and the insta locker and the game beta tab is something which is in work right now but in general i can already show you what this is so basically you can rage quit this button is to always get back into the lobby you can also skip the tutorial if you're on a new account besides that it's going to show like the actual valorant play tab right here so on top you can see the game modes and switch between them here you will see all the player listed as well as it's in game with the player title banner and stuff like that and the name and the level and then you can start the queue stop the queue go into practice mode and stuff like that so pretty cool you will also be able to see if you hop in a game the ranks of your enemies and more life stats and in-game life stats about your current game it's pretty cool to analyze what the enemies how good the enemies are but as i said this is currently in beta and i will add more stuff the chat tab is also something which is in work right now it's a chat spammer to so spam the chat or kill or message on kill when you kill somebody it also detects that you killed somebody and it's gonna send a message in the all chat or your party chat and the plugins thing is also something which is coming soon with which you'll be able to for example connect your spotify account with your Altify account and then your status in game which currently shows how youtube is gonna display which song you're currently listening to this is also a pretty cool idea in my opinion but i will add more stuff really really soon so just stay tuned and make sure to check everything out got a lot of planned and besides that i'm gonna show you the insta locker real quick so for example i want to insta lock right now we're just gonna hop in the custom game real quick click on start start the match and as you can see it already switched back to disable since it already insta locked right now right here if we got premium i could have clicked keep enabled so it would have kept insta locking enabled but since we don't got premium right here it's gonna go back to disabled so this is basically it this is the new lc5 universal version more stable than ever and offers a lot of new features and i'm also hyped for the new features as the chat or plugins feature the only thing i'm going to show you now is the settings tab in which you're able to change your language again so if you've chosen a wrong language in the beginning or i add a new language and in the setup you've selected english you can change this just by clicking your certain language here you can also see if your subscription is running right now currently it's inactive but we can just get a veteran plus member by clicking on this button and we can also here switch our right account so if we got multiple accounts you can simply change them by clicking this button another feature which is coming soon is also the advanced rpc which will pretty much just change your discord rpc to more advanced rpc like currently when you play valorant it shows playing valorant to your friends and with this by enabling this advanced rpc it's going to show which map you're currently playing it's going to rotate through your stats like kills assists and stuff like that so pretty cool this will be out soon as well and the copy lock feature is going to copy your current lock so if you need assistance just click on this and post this in your support ticket so we're going to be able to assist you even easier and that's it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to give Etsify a try right now it's completely free you can't lose anything if you need any assistance with installing this or got any more questions feel free to comment them down below or open the support ticket on our discord server which is also linked down in the description otherwise i wish everybody a great day and see you in the next one